Hi guys, hey in this video I want to talk to you about the various Salesforce mobile app security features. So let's get started. Let's spend a minute trying to understand two very important mobile security concepts. The first is mobile application management. This refers to applying security at the app level. So in our use case, it's going to be the policies and the settings we apply to secure the Salesforce mobile app. Whereas MDM mobile device management refers to policies and controls to protect and manage the entire device. So essentially, it protects at the device level. Uh, there, are two, there are two ways uh, to protect uh, uh, and secure uh, the Salesforce mobile app. Uh, one is using out-of-the-box features and this is all free. And, and second is uh, companies can buy, uh, you know, uh, enhanced mobile security feature. This is paid which adds uh, extra layer of uh, security and protection. So let's go through this. Uh, you, using the connected app, administrators can control access to the mobile app and even monitor and manage uh, the app usage. So essentially you can do things like uh, setting a passcode, uh, setting session timeouts and refresh token timeouts. You can set whether users need a two-factor authentication. From a management standpoint, you can view all the users accessing, you know, using the mobile app. You can block users. Uh, you can do a remote wipe. So I'm going to do a demo uh, re related to number one. So on my left side is my Salesforce org and my right side is my iPhone. So let's go to the Salesforce for iOS connected app. It is administrators can uh, set policies here. So I'm gonna, we're gonna just see how it all works. I'm gonna click on edit policies. Okay, so admin can, you know, can decide who gets to use the mobile app. He could specify either everybody or he could, you know, uh, he could say, hey, I'm going to restrict few people and uh, uh, he could uh, using permission sets and or at the profile level, he could, he could uh, specify which set of users are allowed to, you know, use the Salesforce one mobile app. Uh, so this is the one one important setting here uh, let's talk about the session timeout right so when a user connects to Salesforce using the mobile app it generates a session token it's called a session ID so here you can specify the duration the timeout value of that session ID uh, this setting enforces users to do a two-factor authentication. Uh, here, this uh, refresh token policy. Uh, so let me explain. Uh, a refresh token, uh, when a user signs in, he, he gets a session ID and he also gets a refresh token. The use of the refresh token is when the session expires, the app uses the refresh token to get a new session ID. So I can set, so let's say I'm, I'm going to set a, hey, uh, uh, the, the refresh token expires after two days. So what's going to happen in this use case is the user will be forced to log in and enter his user ID password after two days. Okay, so this is that. Uh, this setting over here is you can enforce 
users to create a passcode so if after one minute of inactivity uh, if, if the mobile app is not used for one minute it will prompt the user to enter a passcode so I'm going to show show this uh, I'm going to show this to you so let's get started okay and uh, here the view auth usage is where administrators can see how many uh, can how many users are you know using the mobile app right now I don't see that Salesforce iOS connected app here that means that you know there's nobody okay so let's see everything in action I'm gonna log into my Salesforce mobile app I entered my user ID and password I got a verification code and uh, you see it's asking me it's prompting me to set up a passcode because here here right here I have said hey uh, I need users need to set up a four digit uh, passcode so I'm gonna set one up see so now you can even uh, set up a yes, touch ID but I'm gonna ignore this for now Oh, I'm in. So let's go to this account. Okay, so just one thing to note right here in my custom attributes, I have something called enable share and I've set it to false. So that is the reason you're not seeing a share icon over here. Uh, uh, essentially what I'm saying is, hey, I do not want users to share account links or any link. But now I'm going to set it to true. And after uh, uh, you're going to see that share icon is going to uh, come over here at the top on the mobile app. It's gonna come after the user logs in so you won't see it instantly but but just keep in mind I modified this enable share setting to true and uh, let's take a look at the auth usage so now you can see for this Salesforce uh, iOS connected app there's one user count so I'm gonna take a look and say hey I see you know this guy is logged in uh, essentially uh, if I happen to lose my device I can call the company and the administrator could revoke my access and this is how you do it so this will force uh, a remote wipe and uh, it will uh, force the user to re-log in so let's do that so in a second you will see on the right side boom it forced me to you know it, it, it logged me out immediately so let's log in So it's asking me to create a passcode again because the admin had you know revoked me I have to create a new passcode so now if you remember you can yeah, you can see the share icon right that's because here in this custom attribute I enable that so essentially using custom attributes you can 
disable or enable a bunch of security features uh, some of them are free and uh, some of them uh, come with the paid enhanced security package uh, this one jailbroken device uh, comes with the paid enhanced security package so essentially you are saying hey if the device you know if it's compromised uh, I'm raising a severity level to critical that means uh, it, it's gonna force the user to log out and it'll it's gonna block the access so let's go back to our deck okay so essentially we saw you know this all this using the connected app properties and uh, how uh, if you buy the enhanced mobile security package it gives you a bunch uh, a lot of others uh, custom attributes which you can uh, these are all security policies which you can enable or disable and you can set an action level you can set a severity and based on the severity level it's, it's going to enforce the action so if you say it's critical it will you know wipes app data and logs the user out and he will not be able to log in till it's it's resolved uh, some can be info only uh, so you know this is pretty pretty good actually so regarding mobile application management this these are you know the umbrella of uh, of ways you can you know secure your salesforce one mobile app okay so mobile device management uh, i'm not gonna cover this uh, but essentially as uh, you know mdm protects at the device level so for industries which are highly regulated like maybe finance or healthcare uh, those companies can uh, buy a popular mdm solution like airwatch mobile iron and uh, and basically uh, you know monitor and manage the entire device uh, and uh, control everything from a central place thank you very much everybody hope you enjoyed this video thank you bye bye